What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today again. Uh, I just posted a video early, early, early this morning for the Xbox streaming uh, thing that's coming to Android. And a lot of the comments have been saying that they don't know how to access this. So we're gonna be looking at our phone. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to it here in just a second. And uh, we're gonna show you guys how to hopefully update this. So um, I'm recording right now. And uh, what we need to do first off is find the Xbox Game Pass beta app. So um, I actually have the Game Pass app and the beta app. The white one is the beta. Make sure you've got the beta installed. And uh, after that, you do need to make sure that you have the update. So we're gonna actually go to the Google Play Store here. And you wanna make sure that you're on your account that has access to the beta app and click on the menu button on the top left. So once that's done, go to my games and apps and your updates should be right here. All right, so we can see that the only update I actually have right now is the Xbox Game Pass beta app. We're gonna press update and wait for that to get done. Depending on your Wi-Fi or your internet connection, it really shouldn't take all that long. As you guys can see, it's installing right now. All right, so that has been updated. Let's go ahead and check it out now. Now again, make sure that you're using the Xbox Game Pass beta app and also you do have to be a Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see what some of the changes look like. New update, tap here to know what's new with this update. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Here we go. Version 2008.300.80. It says we're excited to add cloud gaming beta. So this is definitely the update that you guys need to get in case you guys haven't gotten it already. Uh, oh, and we fixed a few bugs, additional version information. We're not gonna mess with that right now. Let's see what we can find here. If we press the home button, uh, where it, ooh, they actually added a nice little thing here for cloud. Again, this is for X cloud. Now they are supposed to have around 30 games at least. Let's check out how much they've got real quick. All right, you guys, um, so just so that you know, uh, I did check out how many games there are and there seems to be about 38 ish and I could not get them to work either. What seems to be happening is that they are pushing each game individually. So it might take a little while for your app to go ahead and upload all the way or update all the way. And uh, so we're going to jump back into it now and everything should work. Here we go. Once again, we are back on the Game Pass beta app. And uh, as soon as you click on cloud, everything should work now. You guys can see play there. These are some of the games that I've been playing um, on some other services. And uh, if we go to all games now, everything should work. So let's just start and pick a couple real quick. I'm not gonna jump all the way into it except for the last one, but let's just start at the very top A Plague Tale. Can we go ahead and play this? You go ahead and press on play and it jumps you right into it. Now, if we jump back real quick, I'm gonna hold this uh, horizontally so that you guys can see it the right way. Uh, let's go back. Uh, go back to all games. We're gonna go ahead and just scroll down a bit and uh, let's try, why not try Sea of Thieves? Why not? That seems to be a popular game. You guys can see the play button is right there. The same thing will happen. And I will go ahead and jump into Untitled Goose Game. I'm telling you guys, if you've not played this and you have access to it right now, Go ahead and play it. It's about a two hour game. It's really, really fun. We're gonna jump into this. We're gonna let it load up and then just see what happens. So whenever it does load up, uh, you've got this thing where it's trying to load the game and have it ready for streaming. So let's just wait for it here for a second. All right, here we go. Connect a Bluetooth controller. We're gonna continue anyways. I'm not actually jumping into it. I just want you guys to see that this is actually working. So, we do have the Xbox button on the top, which would go away if I had a controller connected right now. You guys can see that I'm actually signed in and we can begin. I don't think you can do anything with touch screen except for touch the Xbox controller, which should bring up your friends as well as achievements. If we close that back out and press the options here on the top left, uh, we've got muted, quit game and stuff like that. So we're actually just gonna quit this game here in a sec, but I did wanna show you guys, it is working, it is running, so that's great. Now I have gotten some questions as to what I use for xCloud. 
And while I'm not going to show you the controller that I have today, we are going to make a follow up video to this really quick, just showing you how to connect your Xbox controller. Your regular Xbox controller will work with this and uh, it should be pretty easy to set up. But I just want to go ahead and make this in case people don't know how to do it. So as you guys can see, the Xbox Game Pass beta app is now available for you guys to check out xCloud. Go ahead and jump in, enjoy it. And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.